Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a blessed weekend. I am Pastor Manny, and this is a ministry we have here at English Oaks Seventh-day Adventist Church called Looking Up. And uh, every Monday, uh, I'm going to be sharing a, a devotional thought for the day and, and for the week. <clears throat> and um, just real, I just wanted to come share in, uh, a passage from Matthew that I really, really love. And, and, and I just love this, this interaction and this encounter that Jesus has with a tax collector named Matthew. And uh, it's found in Matthew chapter 9, uh, verses 9 through 13. And it says this. Uh, as Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at a tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him. Matthew got up and he followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, um, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. <clears throat> when the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, it is not healthy. It is not the healthy who need a doctor, uh, but the sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I have come to call the right, not I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Oh, I love this story because we're going to unpack it a little bit, okay? So we're going to put some, some context behind it. Jesus comes and, and, and he encounters this tax collector named Matthew. And if you know anything about tax collectors back then, um, they didn't have a very good reputation. They were actually really hated by the Jews. And the reason why they were hated is because, uh, one, um, they a lot of times when they would uh, collect taxes, they would uh, charge a little bit extra so they could get a little bit more uh, because they would, um, you know, obviously they would pay Rome and then they would get some of that money too. And so they were, they were known as cheaters. They were known as people that would just uh, rack up the prices so they can get more profit for themselves, right? And then on top of that, um, they had this, uh, they worked for Rome. So they were working for Rome. They were cheating people. And the Jews did not like tax collectors. They were they were hated, right? And so Jesus calls this tax collector named Matthew, and and, and this is so so powerful. Matthew actually gets up and he follows Jesus. Now thinking about it in his position, that that's a lot to kind of give up because he he was probably pretty wealthy. He was pretty well off, more more so than most of the Jews, right? Um, so he left a life of comfort. Uh, to follow Jesus. And that's a question that we have to ask ourselves. Uh, when Jesus asks us to follow him, sometimes um, it's a hard decision because we have to leave certain things behind, you know? And, and so uh, I guess the question I, we have to ask ourselves is how comfort, how, how much of, how comfortable are we living right now? You know, are, 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 are we going out of our way to share the gospel with people, right? Are we going out of our way to share the gospel with tax collectors uh, of of 2021, I guess you could say, right? Um, and so uh, maybe God has put something on our heart that He wants us to do, but it's not, but it's very uncomfortable. But it's uncomfortable. I think we have to really pray and ask Him to to give us um, the desire to really, really follow His will in that in that in that sense. Well, so let's continue. Um, while Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house. Many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. Uh, this is this is awesome to me because um, Jesus risked his reputation to be around people who didn't have very good reputations. Okay, Jesus risked his reputation um, to be around people who didn't have very good reputations, and 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 so what do I mean by that? Because uh, Jesus and, and his ministry, if people heard, especially like the religious leaders, right that he was eating with tax collectors and sinners, they could easily uh, say, oh, th this guy's not a prophet. He's not an anybody important because look what he's doing, right? So Jesus risked his reputation to eat with to eat with people with with uh, who didn't have very good reputations. Now, this is an example for us, right? Um, this just goes to show us that if we, if we are followers of Jesus, um, this is what Jesus wants from us. He wants us to, to reach out to people that... Um, that maybe not, they don't have very good reputations, right? He wants us to to be around people like this so that they can know the gospel too. And, and I think a lot of times, and I'm speaking to myself, we, we want to play it safe, 
right? We want to reach out to people that we are comfortable with, right? But this, this is not what the gospel is. This is not what Jesus does, right? And so he's hanging out with these tax collectors, these sinners, and these Pharisees come and ask his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? And these are the religious leaders of the day, right? And so what, there's two things that they're doing. Um, they are, um, they are criticizing Jesus for eating with these people. And then on top of that, um, they are more concerned about their holiness than about people who are hurting, right? And that's something that we really have to reflect on for ourselves. Are we like the Pharisees sometimes in this aspect? Are we concerned more about our holiness than, than helping people? And, and how often do we criticize, right? Do we have a criticizing spirit? It's, it's always, it's so much easier to point the finger at something or someone, right? Um, but we need to ask ourselves, how can I be a part of the solution? How can I be, I be a part of the problem? And, and what if the Pharisees said, hey, you know, Jesus, this is different. I want to be a part of this. Like, how can I reach out to people like this? Obviously, that's not what happened. Right, so, so let's, let's kind of let's wrap things up uh, really quick. On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not health, the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have come to call the righteous, but not sinners. Um, simply put, uh, if we, we must come to know that we need a savior, if we think, if we don't think that we need to repent if we don't think that we are a sinner if we don't think that that we need forgiveness if we have a self-righteous attitude of in the sense that oh like they need more repentance than i do that's not the case jesus came to to heal the sick and he came for the sinner uh, to for sinners not for the for the righteous and so uh we are all sinners we all all fall into that category and um, we all need repentance. We all need to repent for something. Um, none of us are perfect, right? But God is transforming us, right? When we are in a relationship with him, he is making us like him. And so simply put, I, 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 what I want us to remember is this. During this week, who can we reach out to um, that is different than us? Who can we connect with that is, is, um, uh, is, is different than us? Right? Who can we reveal the love of God to this week? That's my challenge to us. And, and for us um, to, look, to look more inward. Um, am I more concerned about my holiness than helping people? And also, do I have a criticizing spirit? And um, yeah, so those are, the, those are the challenges I have for us this week. Okay, um, This was really awesome for me. It really you know, spoke to me in my heart. And so I just wanted to encourage us with that this week. Um, God bless you, everyone. Uh, have a great week. Go and spread the good news of Jesus. Go and be the good news of Jesus. And, and I hope you all are safe. I hope you all are well. Uh, take care. And, and, and we miss you all and hope to see you soon, all right? I hope to see you soon, all right? Take care. God bless.